Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video we're going to be looking at Rhodey who is an upcoming promo character. This is what she looks visually like as a 5 star ascendable and as a 6 star character her the visual design changes so massively that I mean they're basically designed two different characters here and considering this, the 5 star is not going to be really used that's kind of a surprise I guess. Uh, we'll look at her stats 2096 attack 2597 defense 2279 hp her trait is strong and her role is support now her rush is called rebels moxie and it is a 66 ap cost rush all teammates recover from heal reduction maim and gain 70 percent of their max hp for three turns so we can see why that attack stat is so low it's because she doesn't do any percentage damage i don't think any six star really within the promos is ever going to do percentage damage again. I'd be very surprised if they did. We've seen Lacerators recently. We're now seeing just a full out healer in terms of like full cleanse and a massive heal. 210% over three turns is, is crazy. Especially considering if she goes next to an S-Class character, 70% of an S-Class character's HP who has like between five and 10,000 HP is, is thousands healed. It's crazy. Now she has got a really nice active skill as well, it is called Daze and she could effectively do this to every character on an enemy team and it's got an initial cooldown of 2, 1 enemy and all adjacent enemies get Daze for 3 turns and this actually blocks active skill usage of the other team. So obviously Rhodey coming up against Rhodey, if you've got one on your attack team, you will win because once you block her active skill, that's it, done. And considering it has a cooldown of three, it seems like it's a perma block as well. And the fact that her rush is so quick as well, and the fact that it lasts for three turns, that heal, it's a perma heal as well. So she's perma blocking and perma healing. The rush and active skill are very, very strong. This is definitely the strongest part about this character. Although people may get distracted by other parts of this character, these two things are the things that are going to be the selling points for most people when it comes to buying this character from the promo world. The reason the other things are not going to be is because they're just not that powerful. Now, Specialist skill is Firestarter and, and it isn't that great. It wasn't that great upon release. It still isn't that great now. It isn't a very good Specialist skill at all. And it's mainly because of how Burn works. Burn isn't that strong. Off mods alone, you're looking at, what, 200 to 250 burn damage. I think the max you can get is 300, but you're not really getting that too often. That isn't that much, especially if you're just spreading it around. It's just a little bit of a bit of bonus damage. Against S-Class characters, it's useless. That 300 damage is absolutely useless. It's not even hurting them at all, not even scratching them. Now, Rhodey does have a weapon, and basically she's going to be able to do quite a lot of burn damage with this, but it's still not going to be that great. Rhodey's defensive baseball bat, it has 30% defense on start, which is, I think, the first time I've seen a character that doesn't need attack not have attack on that first slot except zachary um, a medium bonus to ap when attacking which is the upgrade slot you probably go for a huge bonus to ap when attacking now the third slot special is when attacking 100 percent chance to do a thousand burn damage for three turns when the enemy's hp is more than 80 percent now you may think that is really really powerful really overpowered it's only good against six star characters against s class characters this isn't really going to do much you know three turns 3k damage Considering S-Class Pete's active does a 40% heal when he's got like between, like I said, between five and 10,000 HP. So he's healing himself for 40% of that. You're looking at a two to 4,000 heal just off his active. Instantly he's going to counter this without any, any problem at all. This will, however, be a massive issue for six star characters, mainly because they don't run with that much HP. For S-Class characters, it's not gonna be a problem. Attacking teams coming up against Rhodey, where they've got 1,500 to 2,200 HP because you've got to gear them quite offensively. Well, those characters are going to run into issues. So now her weapon just seems to be a free-to-play counter because obviously free-to-play are going to be using six stars for the long-term future compared to people who buy promos on a regular basis. Her fire starter is useless because you're not going to fire start something that you've already started when you can just start another one on another character. It makes no sense at all when it lasts for three turns off the weapon and two it will be two turns when you spread it with the fire starter i don't understand that one so the fire starter doesn't really have any use on this character it would have been better if it was a secondary character that you brought out that had fire starter on it that had synergy with Rody. so that way Rody would do the weapon attack and then the second character would do the fire starter you know follow up and she could have had even just any terrible special skill but even if she had something like tenacity it would have been more useful than fire starter on this character 
Now the Adrenaline Rush and Active Skill, like I said, that is going to be the main draw for people who are buying promos. It's a really sort of middle of the road character where the people who would be benefit from this the most aren't going to be able to or willing to spend money to get this character. And the people who would be willing to spend money for this character aren't going to because she's just not powerful enough. Like she's not really fitting the bill of what a character is is like within those, you know. They want much more powerful characters in, in terms of what they're going to do. I think this character is powerful in terms of the Adrenaline Rush and Daze. However, people may see the weapon and just instantly think, wow, a thousand burn damage for three turns, that's really OP. That's probably one of the weakest parts of this character. Even though it is very strong, it is still one of the weakest parts of this character. So that's Rhodey. Do tell me what you think about her as a six star character. She's a kind of weird character overall, but I can see her working together with Laupo pretty well. That's the end of my video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.